Hey guys, welcome back to another quick tip video. Today's tip is in regards to when the filter comes off the fuel line on your chainsaw. And I'm gonna show you how this can affect your chainsaw. What I've got here is a Husqvarna 365 and it is a pro saw. And what's happened to this one is that the filter came off the fuel line as is the subject of today's tip. I'm just gonna fish out the fuel line with a hook like this. And you can see that there is no filter at the end of this fuel line. But all I know is that it's not in the tank. Usually when this happens, you can retrieve the fuel filter from the tank. So here's what can happen when the filter comes off, is that the carburetor will get dirty inside. What I've done here is I've just taken that off the saw here a bit to show you, and specifically the part of the carb where the pump diaphragm is. So I'm gonna take this cover off and show you what's going on in there. Usually I can resolve the problem just by taking off this cover of the carb, not the side with the metering diaphragm. That's because there's a screen inside that will trap all the dirt. And I'll take the diaphragm off and there's all the dirt. And that's specifically where the fuel comes in. It comes in here, there's a screen there. That's why the screen is there, but if it gets overfilled with dirt like this, your saw will not run properly. In that case, just clean it out real good. You can take the carb right off and replace the screen if you want. But this here is an excessive amount of dirt for such a small carburetor. I'm actually going to remove the carburetor to clean it properly. I'm just going to spray a bit of penetrating oil to wash off the dirt. The carburetor itself isn't dirty to the point that the gas is varnishized. It's just basically superficial dirt. Dirt that is not stuck to the actual parts of the carb. So basically all I have to do is clear out the dirt. It does not have to go through an ultrasonic cleaner or be soaked in carburetor cleaner. Now if you use a blow gun, make sure you do not blow out the small screen that you see here. I am gonna use my blow gun, but I'm gonna be very careful about not popping the screen out. And don't forget your safety glasses before you do this. As you've noticed, I'm not blowing it inside here. I'm just blowing on the sides. And by the way, don't forget to air blow the top cover as well. And now this carb looks clean again, I'm going to put it back together and put a new filter on the saw. On this saw here, this is the impulse line, make sure it's not cracked, and this is the fuel line. The impulse line goes on this connector and the fuel line on this connector over here. Again, it's the Husqvarna 365 I'm working on, and you will find the same configuration on some other Husqvarna saws. Now before installing the new filter, what I highly recommend that you do is that you snip off at least a quarter to a half an inch of the fuel line. Oftentimes what has happened is that the fuel line has expanded at the end and that's what caused the filter to come off. So you don't want that to happen again with the new filter. You cut a piece off then the filter will go in much tighter and not come off. And I do recommend that you use the proper filter for your saw because some of them have little weights in them and they're designed for a specific saw. So they fit better in the tank and they go to the bottom of the tank much better. Okay, I've got it back together. I had it started briefly. I'm gonna take it outside and test it out in some logs. As you saw, sometimes all you have to do is clean the carb like that if the filter has fallen off the fuel line in the tank. Thanks for watching today's quick tip. Make sure to subscribe and you can see me in my next video. Have a nice day.